Hi, I'm David. I have another video today that I want to share. Uh, if you remember, I think about two months ago, I did a little side-by-side -side drive with a Tesla Model 3. The idea was back then that I just wanted to see how much more efficient the Tesla Model 3 is compared to my old uh, Tesla Model S. So I found a Model 3 owner. We did a little bit of a parallel drive. Uh, we didn't do much planning. Um, all we did was he just had a starting point. We drove up and down the freeway came back and compared the energy consumption. It was interesting in a way that um, the conditions, and that was the idea of the whole thing, were identical, or I would, say, I would say as identical as possible. So we drove at the same time, same speed, same distance, same drought, everything. So, you know, in terms of conditions, that's about as close as possible as you can get. And this way we could actually compare how much energy each car would use. Um, but I thought, let's make a version two of this video, basically. So how about we get a few more cars and a few other cars included? So I tried to reach out to a few people to find different EVs. Uh, the first one I found is a Chevy Bolt. Uh, it's Eric. He has a YouTube channel called News Coulomb. I actually enjoy watching. It's a very smart guy uh, when it comes to EVs and energy technology in general. Uh, I found Alex Vance. You probably know his YouTube channel. He has a Tesla Model S for many years now and recently got a Model 3. He's also doing a lot of great videos about that. And then uh, I found a BMW i3 owner as well. So we have four cars, a Tesla Model S, a Chevy Bolt, BMW i3 and the Tesla Model 3. And so here we go. And here we have the lineup, the Chevy Bolt, the Tesla Model S, a rear-wheel drive 85, the Performance Model 3, dual motor, and the BMW i3 S. That may come out to be the most, the most efficient. I David's will be last. <laughs> Maybe Sorry, David. I, 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 know, I know my car will use the most energy. Okay, what do you think, what do you guys think is going to be the use the least amount? Yeah, we could regroup in Ohio too. Okay. My prediction? Yes. Uh, the i3. Yeah, that's my prediction too. What do you think? i3 will Probably use it. Probably the i3, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think it's it's the weight. Yeah, I, so I agree. So change plus weight. It's, yes. It's, your, wait, is yours a Rex? Mine's uh, a Rex, so it weighs uh, 300 pounds more. Oh, never mind, then the Bolt EV. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing okay. the i3 has going for it is very low rolling resistances, so if you're below yeah. a speed to where aero matters, then yeah. it's crazy efficient. But if we're above that aero break point, depending on how fast we're talking yeah. and who's driving, it's kind of a toss-up yeah. between the Performance 3 and the Bolt. Yeah. Well, and and David's just going to be in the back. I Sorry. All right. Unless it's all, unless it's all freeway. Right. Yeah. Um, 70 miles an hour, I'm, you know, that yeah. takes a lot. Well, and that's why I was saying that. Uh, that's yeah. 126, I usually do 70 back. Yeah. That's, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Just the realistics, you know, a little bit yeah. of freeway driving at 70 and then the I rest. I might do 72, not on camera. <laughs> no, we're going 70. We'll go 70. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, ready. <laughs> hard launch? I guess hard launch. <laughs> all, right. all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, reset A. And here we go. Okay. And off we go. <clears throat> here is the route that we planned. We're starting at the beach uh, parking lot. We're going to go up. It's a little bit of freeway and then it's like a single lane uh, road kind of a medium speed then we're going across this a little bit through the mountains a little bit up a little downhill and then we're going to go back and that's mostly actually freeway driving we still have everybody that's good and um i can tell you this eric is not going extra slow he is going like anybody else would go on the road just normally Dang it. Yes, he is not a slow driver. <laughs> Eric and his bolt right in front of me.
going to be interesting um, which car actually is the most efficient. I think the Bolt is a very efficient car. I mean, it definitely is. There's no doubt about it. The i3, I believe, personally, is the most efficient just because it is the lightest car and the rolling resistance is the lowest, just as Alex uh, mentioned. And um, I think it's just um, overall the most efficient car. But who knows? Um, that's why I'm doing this test to see which car is actually most efficient and how the cars compare to each other. I know that the Model S, my Model S, will definitely use the most energy. It's the biggest car, the widest car, the heaviest car, and it also has the uh, most inefficient motor. <clears throat> Not that it's designed poorly, it's just um, an older motor design that's not quite as efficient as the other one. We decided to take a quick stop at the first point on the map and do a little recap and look at each other's consumptions. Okay, you're not driving slow, that's good. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm just driving how I'm driving. Exactly, so that's, that's perfect. The, the you're trying to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were falling behind me. Oh, I don't actually like following cars closely. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, All it's right, a stopping go. distance thing. All I right. I never follow cars. Okay, that's good. Well, it's also the aerodynamics, and you don't want it to spoil. Right? Yes. One uh, Tesla. We have to do a little math. <laughs> it's, I think it's one over the watt hours per mile. Then you have the uh, miles per kilowatt. Two sixty-one. So I, I hate you. <laughs> I'm at 335. <laughs> that's like, okay, wait, uh, that's, hang on, hang on. All right, I'm trying to lose that weight. actually be worse than my S70D gets at 80 miles an hour on I-5. <laughs> no, okay, but to be fair, Ojai is up, what, yes. like 1,500 feet? That's true. Something that's like that, 2,000? No, not 2,000. So what did you say you have already? It's four, three point four kilowatt. I've used five and a half. Oh, oh you, oh, you're going with how much you actually used. I, I oh, but except you only, but the tes Tesla grounds. What? If you're using total consumption, Tesla grounds pretty. Heavy. I had the the uh, scan my Tesla app. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I, <laughs> that car weighs yeah, half a gallon. Yeah. Twice my, what mine does. Oh yeah. What are you? 3.8. 3.8? 3.8 miles. Like I said, it's apples right. and oranges. You know, that's a road trip car and this is a town car. Yeah, well, and the thing oh. is, though, I'm surprised. This traffic is really like tra like city traffic. It's it is. Traffic, so. It is, yeah. There's people. So we're going through some mountains. Well, not really mountains, but... I would say some hills. There's a little bit of up and down, and um, Eric is actually driving quite fast. Well, not fast, but um, he drives a little faster than I would usually drive. But that's good. <clears throat> so we're definitely not going at a extra low speed or anything like that to appear better in terms of consumption or anything like that. So. This is a very realistic test drive here. So we just stopped at a gas station, extra mile, but none of us is going to buy gas here. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Look at the shine up there. It's the EV extra. Ah. Uh, that's wonderful. All right. Oh. What? Well, we got to find out what that is. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, we can we can start. Well, I don't know. If I, I'm kind of. Well, I know I'm lo I know I'm losing. So I. Okay. Said, so what, is what is yours? What is yours, David? All right. Let's see. <laughs> um. Four point two miles. Eight. Eight point five. No, no, it was just watt hours per mile. I've already been. Oh, watt hours, <laughs> watt hours per mile. Watt hours per mile. Got the calculator, David. Come on. Oh, 
258. 258, okay. And you came in at 208. Well, and what did 4.2 be? Uh, 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Okay, hang on, hang on. Divide by 4.2. That's 238. 238. 208. 199. 199. 199. <laughs> All right. I really. I thought it was at 198. You know, so, wait, so wait, what was his then? His was 238. 238. His Yours was 208. And mine was 199. Dang it. Wow. <laughs> well, no, I'm actually surprised. Well, really, I'm surprised too. Regeneration. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that downhill. Yeah. Was, yeah. I, I wasn't was trying crazy. to be efficient. I was just No, like, no. Keep, oh, my God. No. Me, me, me neither. <laughs> I thought I and there was one cor- there was one corner where I may have pressed very hard on the cell. Well, you guys were really punching. <laughs> I know he was like, "Hey, Jesus!" Well, I didn't, I, okay, the problem with putting me on a windy road, it's like, wait, you want me to do an efficiency test on a windy road <laughs> oh, yeah. in a performance mode? Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> okay, so I, I did I did say, look, I was taking it we easier were than I would. Plus five on something. You were like taking that, it right? easier. <laughs> I was taking it easier than I normally drive that road. Wow. That but, was a road that you can have a lot of fun on. Yeah, it is. Oh, but, yeah. But, so I kept my tires from squealing. But some <laughs> of the people that were going the other direction, their tires were squealing. Oh, wow. So, I mean, so I know we we were just driving normally. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know the road, and yeah. it's dark. So for me, there was one turn where I was like, whoa. <laughs> I did like this. <laughs> yes, I know. You don't, you don't know where the road goes. You go yeah. around that on the bicycle. Yeah, yeah the, I know. And that's the main thing that I watch out for is I, I have to keep at least an eye out for bicyclists. That's, otherwise, we could have gone 10, 15 miles an hour faster. Yeah. yeah. All right, and we're going back on the road. This is the last leg of the round trip. We're going actually on the freeway now. The last third is all freeway and i think we ended up driving i don't know around 70 something whatever the traffic would allow us it was actually pretty busy at that day so we couldn't really um we had to kind of go with the traffic um we tried to stay close together but here and there some cars got between us but i think overall the speed was pretty much the same on all the cars because uh, we ended up arriving pretty much at the same time Arriving back to where we stop. Let's do a formation. All oh, the cars here in line. Nice. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> We're back. Because it's the old rear drive car, so there's no autopilot. Oh. He has oh. standard cruise control. Oh. Um, I didn't use autopilot for any of the drive, although that last leg I did use tack. Oh, okay. um, just so I use it on the freeway. Though. Right, yeah, yeah, same I, deal. Oh, yeah, I set cruise control. Yeah, I exactly. Didn't want to go. 61. So, 261 watt hours per mile. So are we are we doing watt hours it's per easy mile? To convert. Yes. A uh, thousand divided by whatever it was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So mine is four point kilowatt hours. So that's two fifty. And mine is two fifty. Two two seven. Two two seven. Yeah. It dropped to two oh one. Dang it. Two oh one. Yours isn't going to change ah. much. Yeah. Two oh one. Yeah. So that's the weird thing. It's like the highway rating for the, this car and the Bolt are only different. It's like two mpge difference. That's yeah. it. It's like yeah. 110, 112. I mean, I lost more than you, but not by that much, right? So Dual motor performance Model 3. And the only thing you can do to make this Model 3 less efficient <laughs> would be to take the aero wheels off and put the 20-inch wheels with performance tires on. That's Oh, you got the aero wheels? Yeah. So we're so not you got quite the aero at wheels. the least efficient Model 3, but close. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> this is a five-year-old Model S rear-wheel drive. It has 180,000 miles on it. I win that one. <laughs> yes, you do. God, that's... <laughs> All right. How many miles do you have on this one here? Well, come on. I only picked it up, like, what, okay. last month? <laughs> like 2,000? Uh, no, this car actually doesn't get driven that much yet. Uh... 1,000. <laughs> awesome. So it's a performance dual motor... 1,000 miles on it, mm -hmm. and the air wheels on 18, no, not 18 inch, yeah, 18, 18 inch, yeah. All right, so yours is, which years is yours? 2017. 2017, and there isn't that many configurations, are there? 
Well, mine's I don't the base. It's computer. the base, okay. Well, base, loaded base. Okay, <laughs> all right. Loaded baked potato. Oh, yeah. but there's no different motor configurations like no, with the Model 3 no, or anything no. like that. And I, I do have the Cruise Eco rims, though. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah. And which one is yours? Yours is Mine's a, a 2018 i3S. Okay. And uh, it's got 1,800 miles on it. it. Oh, wow. And, and it has the range it has extender. A 180 horsepower compared to, I think, 160 for a regular i3. Okay. And Ooh, because it's a Rex, the it's, it's the least efficient. Okay. The, All right. The final results here now listed again one more time. The Tesla Model S. Not surprising to anyone. 262 watt hours per mile, the highest energy consumption of all four cars. Uh, the second one in is the BMW i3 with 250 watt hours per mile. I think we were all a little surprised because that's almost at the level of the Tesla Model S and the i3 is known to have a lot less weight. It's a carbon fiber chassis, it's very efficient, low rolling resistance because of its tires and everything. So not quite sure what's going on here because I don't think the range extender's extra weight would make the i3 that much less efficient so if there's any th i3 owners that want to comment on that please feel free um, the chevy bolt is coming in at 227 watt hours per mile that's pretty good but obviously the winner in terms of efficiency the tesla model 3 with only 201 watt hours per mile that's really very efficient it's 30 percent less energy used compared to the tesla model s so a huge uh, leap forward in terms of efficiency uh, on Tesla's side. So that was very interesting for me to see. Uh, mostly I expected those numbers to come in that way. I think the only exception was a BMW i3, which uh, on paper and, and also in reality with a lot of people, a lot of owners, the energy consumption seems a little bit high to me. If you own a BMW i3 or have any kind of a comment or explanation, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm actually very interested to, to start a discussion about that and find an explanation of why it used so much energy. It's almost at the level of the Tesla Model S, which doesn't seem quite right. Anyways, um, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching and um, see you next time.